Thanks for calling Sainsbury's. To give you great service, your call may be monitored or recorded for training and quality purposes. Please choose from the following four options. If you're calling about nectar, please press 1. For online shopping, press 2. For gift cards and savings cards, please press 3. If you need help with an electrical product, press 4. And for anything else, please hold. We would be grateful if you could spend two minutes after your call today to tell us about the service our colleague provided. To take part, please hold at the end of your call and we will transfer you to the survey. Hi there, you're through to Bell at Sainsbury's Caroline. How can I help you today? Hello, love. Uh, can I speak to Ray Biggs? Yeah, certainly. Can I just ask your name, please? Yeah, uh, it's regarding a letter that's been received through the post. Right, OK. And what's your name? My name, you can call me Joe. Joe, not yeah. a problem, Joe. Right, if you just bear with me. Thank you. with the Woodland Trust, the UK's leading woodland conservation charity. We donate from every woodland chicken we Hello, can I speak? I need to speak to Ray Biggs, please. Yeah, it's Joe. Uh, what Sorry? What company? Uh, well, I'm not a company. I'm regard is this regarding the letter you sent me? Well, not me, but the girlfriend. Hello? We would be grateful if you could spend two minutes after your call today to tell us about the service our colleague provided. To take part, please hold at the end of your call and we will transfer you to the survey. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling Sainsbury's customer care line. You're through to Daniel. How can I help today? Hello, Daniel. You're the third person I've been swapped to in less than two minutes. I'm after speaking to Ray Biggs. Okay. And I, I, that's the, you're the third person I've spoke to now, and you're the only you're the only male. But I need to speak to Ray Biggs, please. And do you know which department Ray Biggs works in? Well, you, you should know. He's had a customer service. Bear with me, sir. Thank you. Over the past five years, we've invested £14 million pounds through our industry-leading dairy development group. We've seen significant advances in animal welfare and environmental standards, in turn saving our dairy farmers £10 million. Pounds. Hi there, sir. So sorry about that. Um, so Ray Biggs is the head of our customer service department. Right. Now let me tell you, you can't put me through to him. Uh, I wouldn't be able to put you through. We don't have a direct number for him. But is, is it something I could help with here at the care line? Well, no, because he sent this letter, so I can't speak to him. Is it in regards to the product recall? Yes, it is. Okay, then we would be able to to discuss it here at the care line. Yes, but you're not listening to what I'm saying. I, I want to speak to the gentleman myself. But, do you know, I'm not surprised that you can't put me through to him because I don't think he exists. Because this letter that's been received, it's signed and it's printed, it's computer printed, and I don't think he exists. So somebody has sent a fraudulent letter out. Unless you can put me, unless you can put me through to him. Fraudulent letter out, sir. Sorry? No one has sent a fraudulent letter out. Ray Biggs is the, the head of customer service. I'll be able to take the complaint here for you. Yeah, yeah but I want to speak to him. Because he sent this letter, so I need to speak to the person who sent the letter. So I need to speak to Ray Biggs. Unfortunately, we don't have a date. Is there any relation to Ronnie Biggs? No. No. Oh. It would, it's, if it's in regards to the product recall, we can discuss it here in the care line. Yeah, but you're not listening to what I'm saying. Ray Biggs has sent this letter, so I want to speak to him. But unfortunately, there's no direct number for I him. I didn't think there would be. I don't think he exists. Unless you can prove to me that he does, I've got a case of fraud here, my friend. But nevertheless, we continue. Right, the girlfriend's received two letters, okay? Uh, the, the first one was re received, we don't know when it was received because all it says is March 2014, okay? And it, 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 it goes something like this. We understand that you have purchased our frozen sticky toffee pudding, 450 gram by Sainsbury's since the beginning of December 2013. The safety of our customers is extremely important to us. 
and we have identified that this product may contain small pieces of metal. Okay. As a precautionary measure, we have withdrawn all stains of British frozen sticky toffee sponge pudding. We are asking all our customers to return the product to their nearest Sainsbury store where they will receive a full refund. This applies to Sainsbury blah de blah de blah. No other products are affected by this issue and we apologise for the inconvenience caused. If you have any concerns, please call our customer care line. Okay. And then a week later, the following letter arrived. Last week, we sent you a letter about our frozen sticky toffee pudding 450 gram by Sainsbury's being recalled as a precautionary measure. The product that we should have written to you about was our Taste the Difference Roasted Chestnut, Toasted Hazelnut and Thyme Stuffing Mix 110 grams. We apologise for any confusion caused. Well, there's a lot of confusion. <clears throat> The safety of our customers is extremely important to us and we have identified that this product may contain small traces of peanuts. Uh -huh. Right, which has not been declared on the packaging. So we've got two letters, there's no date on it, and as far as I'm concerned, whoever sent the letter, it's been sent fraudulently because it's not, in, it's not signed in wet ink, which it needs to be. Uh, and it's just a printed signature. Now I've requested to speak to the gentleman and nobody seems to know his number or he's not customer facing or he doesn't speak to the public, which leads me to believe that he doesn't exist. So we've got two issues here. Well, no, we've got more than two issues. But the first two issues is the, the, the letters. There's no dates on them. You've, you've sent a warning letter about the metal being in the sticky toffee pudding and that was completely incorrect. And even at the bottom of the letter you said no products are affected. And then a, a week later you're telling us it's something else. So, does anybody at Sainsbury's know what they're doing? Yes, sir, we, we do know what we're doing. There was a technical issue, that's why you received the, the letter about the sticky toffee pudding. A technical issue? Yes, because we've got two separate products from two separate ranges recalled at the same time. The, the incorrect letters were sent to the incorrect customers. It was a technical error, and as soon as we found out that it happened, we contacted the correct customers with the correct letters. Well, it's, it's not good enough. It's not good enough because that was eaten. Everybody's had diarrhoea for three weeks. We've used more, spent more on toilet paper than we have anything else. And it m makes me cause for concern that it's this bloody stuffing. Even the dog won't touch it. He eats out. And he that was only caught, recalled because there are traces of peanuts in it that weren't declared on the packaging. Well, I know. Is there an, is, is anyone in your household affected with a nut allergy? Well, yeah, everybody. You know, you, the, the letter was sent out, uh, saying it's thrown sticky toffee pudding, and lo and, lo and behold, a week later, it, it's not sticky toffee pudding, it's bloody stuffing mix. See, it, it strikes me as if somebody doesn't know what they're doing there, and somebody's sending letters out, not, then they're not being signed. And if it's not signed, it carries no, carries no authority whatsoever, and it's just words on a piece of paper, and as far as I'm concerned, it's fraud. Because, I, because if, you can't put me through to him, so... That, you know, if I can't speak to him, that would lead me to... Well, the, the, the only conclusion you can draw from that is that it doesn't exist. I can assure you that it does exist. Yeah, well, your words is no good. I want to speak to him. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a direct number for him. Well, yeah, but why not? Because we don't have a direct number for him. Any complaints in regards to products comes to the care line. There's our department that deals with it. Yeah, but it's, it's Ray Biggs who sent it out. Um, I understand that, sir, but as ourselves, we would deal with the compl any complaints in regards to this. Well, I want, I'm, I want to raise a complaint about these letters not being signed. I'm more than happy to log that for you just now, sir. Yeah, I want something done about it. I want to speak to Ray Biggs. Well, unfortunately, sir, there's no way for you to be able to... Yeah, because he doesn't exist. Look, look, I didn't come down in the last shower, mate. And whoever's trying to flannel you, you can fool some of the people some of the time and most of the people most of the time, but you can't fool all the people all the time. I want to speak to Ray Biggs. Well, unfortunately, sir, you're not able to. I know, because he doesn't exist, does he? He does exist. He, he doesn't, does he? He doesn't, does he? He does exist. Well, well, why can't I speak to the head of customer service? You'd think he'd be top banana, wouldn't you? Because that's what we're here for at Caroline. We're the ones that deal with any complaints. We're the ones that are customer facing. We deal with any complaints customers have in regards to products or stores. The same as our online team deals with any online issues. Our gift card team does with any gift card issues. There's a separate department for everything here at West Sainsbury's, and we are the department that deal with complaints in regards to products and stores. Well, I'm afraid I've got a case. It sounds like I've got a case of fraud here. 
there's no case for fraud. Well, th there is very much a case for fraud, my friend. Very much so. Because there's letters being sent out. I, for sake of repeating myself, they're not signed. It's computer-generated signature or computer-printed signature. And you're telling me that for some reason he, he hasn't got a number and you can't talk to him. So that tells me that he don't, he's not even there. He doesn't even exist. And don't try, don't try and flannel him me and try to tell me he's not this, that and the other. It's a load of rubbish. I'm not, I'm not stupid. Sir, as I've, as I've said, as ourselves, we deal with the complaint. You're not listening to what I'm saying. Sir, I, I'm listening to what you're saying. Ray Biggs does not deal with customers. Why not? If he's head of customer services. He doesn't deal with the customers. Why it's not? He's the care line, he deals with customers. Yeah, but if you can't put him through, he, he, he don't, he's not there. He doesn't exist. And, you know, I'm not stupid. Sir, I can assure you that he does exist. Like, you, you look, you're, you're really, really insulting my intelligence now by trying to convince me that he, he exists and he doesn't. So I want to know who sent these letters out. Because I want to know who, who to hold responsible. This is, this is where I'm going. I, I want to know who's responsible for sending these letters out. The name, the name of the man, not a person. So I want to know who I'm going to take responsible for this. Who's going to be held responsible. So whose name? Thank you. Conservation charity. We donate two pence from every woodland chicken we sell and one penny from every dozen woodland eggs. This partnership has led to more than 500,000 trees being planted. Our supermarkets and depots and no food waste landfill, with the majority of surplus food going to charities or anaerobic digestion. Hi there, sir. Hello. Um, so there definitely wouldn't be any way at all you would be able to speak with Ray Biggs. He's not a customer. <laughs> he doesn't deal with it as customers. As ourselves, it deals with it. Um, I can assure you, he is a real person. <laughs> want to log a complaint? I'm more than half to log it here for you just now. Well, I've, yeah, you've already got me. You've already got me complaint. Ah, uh, it's this is fraud and deception, and it, it's fraud and deception. It, it is. It is. It is, mate. Every day of the week. As of advisors. Oh, yeah, but who am I going to hold responsible for sending these letters? I want the name of a person, the name of a man. For sending these letters out. The name's on the letter, said it's Ray Biggs. It says I know, well, that's why I want to speak to you and you won't let me talk to him. Because he's not a customer, he doesn't deal with customers. Well, ourselves, it would be ourselves here at the care line. It deals with customers, as of advice. Well, I knew I knew I'd be wasting my time because I, I knew you wouldn't be able to put me through to him because he doesn't exist. And no matter what you say, I didn't come down in the last year and I wasn't born yesterday. And people are aware of the fraud and deception that's going on in this world, and especially of the big corporations like your supermarkets, for example, where they send these letters out willy-nilly with a printed signature, and the person does not even exist. I've, I have done this, I have tried this probably now with about 20 different companies, and do you know, my friend, all the companies that send these letters out, when you ring them up and have to speak to the person, they all say exactly what you've just said. Now, why is that, why is that do you think? So there's nothing further I can tell you. It doesn't deal with customers. It's you can't, you can't, you just, you've just, I've just asked you a question. There's 20 or so companies now have sent letters out, similar to yours, and I've just tried this just p to prove somebody wrong because that, cause somebody told me that these letters that get sent out, they're just computer generated and, and the, the person doesn't even exist. I said, well, that can't be right. So I said, well, I'm going to, I'm going to ring people up and that, you're just, an, it's another test case and all calls are recorded for training purposes and this is my own little investigation. And like I say, and you are, all of them say exactly the same as you. He's not customer face and you can't talk to him and, and one thing and another. So people know what's going on. People know what's going on. And I don't shop at your supermarket. And the girlfriend won't be doing either after this little episode because she's fed up of it. You make out your support of the wildlife and all that. Hey, what about this fracking malarkey? What about donating some of the to 
these uh, protection teams that, don't, that, that donate the time and the effort. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, no, you haven't answered my questions, are you? So well, I want to know where this Ray Biggs is. is it no, no amount of flannel is going to convince me that he is there. Are we, has he got an office then? Oh, how about if I come and meet him? Sir, we are the customer care line. We're not uh, what about if I, if you can convince, a lot, if you can convince me he's there, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy. I should go away happy bunny. But the more and more questions, it's funny when you start asking questions, people don't like it. And you, you don't, they don't answer the questions. And this is serious. That I have answered your questions. He haven't. He's got an office somewhere, yeah? Yes, he's based at our head office. Where's that? In Holborn, in, in London. Right, well that's near to me anyway. So as you can tell, what office number is he in? I don't know which office he's in, sir. What well, can you find out? We are not based at that office. I know, but you can find out, though, because he, cause he's there, isn't he? <clears throat> We're not in the same department. We work at... We're on a different site from him. We are not at the Holborn office. We're, at, we're on a different site. So if I nip to the Holborn office, I'll be able to speak to him, then? If I, if I just pop in there and just say, I've come to see Ray Biggs... It's funny how we've got Ray Biggs and Ronnie Biggs because, I don't know, it sounds to me like we've got some robbery going on here. So there's no robbery going on? Well, I think there is. However you look at it, it's fraud and deception. Uh, if there's nothing further I can help you with today, there, I'm going to have to terminate the call. Right, okay. Thank you. You've been no help whatsoever, but have a nice day.